Hello and welcome to another turn of the False Pretenders. I'm the False God. Joining me is Arpatheus. Hello, hello, hello. We are on turn 44 and we're looking to see some big battles. And I think we're going to try and jump straight into them. So we've got TNN attacking Airmore. Airmore has two forts left, everybody remember. And they're both cracked last turn. So TNN Quick has a bunch, a bunch of Tuatha... Some of these Banshees who maybe have been assassinating in the fort. Although you can't do that, I guess, if you're sieging. Um, but they could have been doing it before. Up against a small communion of Amorian Mages and some Retaria, basically, and some Long Dead. Uh, unless this communion has a lot to offer, I think that the troop quality here of TNG is definitely going to win. We got, ooh, we got air elementals. It's looking rough, rough for Amor in this battle, I think. No yeah. magic weapons. Yeah, air elementals with storm up is going to be tough. Uh, he he's is... a lizard dude, though. I mean, yeah. the Tiss fights on. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a hero. Is it a hero? Uh, I think that it, the Ambassador Mage, I believe it is. Uh, this Thunderstrike spam is also pretty intense. Here we got a little Thug Kit. Um, who's running in yeah, on his TNN lonesome. also holding back, so all the Omarian troops run out through the gates, so they can't clog that up. Yep. Looks like more air elementals coming in, so that's four big ones. They're into the mage line. Or at least some of them are. Thunder strikes rain down, but not hitting too much. Yeah, it didn't hit too much there. Okay, looks like the air elementals in the back here have been cleaned up. This guy's in, but he's got um this uh this frost brain is not gonna work all that well against no, this long dead. Not ideal. Uh, although the vine shield will work fine. Falling frost raise dead. Oh, falling fire. Know, falling, fire. Falling, frost. falling frost. Just comes in. Yeah, they're rampaging on the mage line. The hero one. goes down. Oh, he just clears it all. He did. Down. That one element that got everybody. Wow. Okay. He had a mission and he he accomplished it. Yeah. So that's one for Tian and or one for Airmore. Here's. Caleb attacking Airmore in Airmore proper. This is the big one. All right, popcorn this is what we're out. We're building just, up to this. Let's just let this now. one play, and yes. then we'll yeah. we'll we'll come back to discuss. <laughs> so I can tell there's going to be a lot going on. Hmm. Oh my god! What goodness. have we? What, what global? What globals have we got up there? Solar brilliance, wailing winds, natural storm, natural rain, and there's earthquakes going Oh, that's going an earthquake. Off. That's a lot of air alleys. Do we have mass flight on on Omo? They or did they just? No. I think they just ate, ate that earthquake. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of evocation spam and air elementals going on in the back here. Okay, wailing winds is down. That that was probably Airmores then. Uh, I don't see a lot of Airmore left. They got that. Oh, no. no. There goes that guy. There's this slinger over here. Coming. I think that's that. Oof. Yep. Airmore is out. Ugh. All right. Pour one, one out. Pour one out for Airmore. Thank you to Ball and Stalin for joining us. And I believe he's the only one who, you know, brought to the challenge zero bless. So. Going out, playing on hard mode. Now let's take a closer look at what everybody's doing. So, Natural Rain is automatically up on this side. Got a lot of storm power going up. Presumably, yeah, there's the storm. Wailing Winds is on this side. So this Harab Seraph must have died. Solar Brilliance uh, cast by the other side. it might have been the Solar Brilliance that went down. Oh, I'm yeah, sure maybe. Now, Solar Brilliance is potentially going to leave a lot of these guys blind, right? Yeah, but I mean, look at rough. the Evo spam it's and the Ellie's like. Yeah, it's just so much. What does the uh, What does the God do? Oh, he just got he just got. Uh, so I didn't even bash, bash by an air elemental. As I said <laughs> he was probably the one putting up um, the solar brilliance. Yeah, it yeah, wasn't it up be. that long, so yeah, maybe yeah, some of these guys are blind. Uh, we, I don't think we're gonna have a good way to tell exactly how many are blind. Let's watch it from the Airmore's perspective. It's probably, I would say, majority. Yeah. 
Now, Solar Brilliance going up doesn't specifically counter anything here, right? Um, just maybe these... No. So no. It's, it's mostly it doesn't just... Affect, doesn't really affect the air elementals or the... Right. The thunder strike all that much because it's pretty inaccurate anyway. Right. He did try and put his troops around to protect him from all the, the flying stuff, but... So uh, that's a lot. Look at that. Look at the, the yeah. waves. That was quite satisfying. That was quite that. satisfying. I guess evocation may not always be the best, but it's very satisfying. I think that this earthquake, yeah. though, is going to... That earthquake just destroys. It's pretty tough for him. It destroys any hope, I think, of winning. The yeah, battle. unfortunately, he's all... I mean... I'm surprised yeah. he didn't cast mass flight, because his research is really good. The research is really good. I... So, yeah, that would have helped a lot. Maybe uh, maybe the castle got sniped or something. Also possible. You'd want to put that up turn one, though. If you, I guess turn two, right? You probably have to communion for it. But And then he doesn't have any... He doesn't seem like he did any... Um... Chakras. Yeah, chakras. Which he certainly should have researched as well. And he's got access to... Uh, this guy. Um, he's access to one. He's access to some air, so he should be able to do it. But here's uh, here's Caesar. Caesar down to one HP and routed. Uh, air elemental. Air elementals are just sniping all the important guys. Yeah. All uh, right. One lower, wanting to retreat. Nope. <laughs> Nobody gets this. We let's see if these guys can get out. He's making it. Look at him go. Oh, I hope he, he does. He can go the distance. He go made on. it. Yeah. <laughs> that guy didn't, though. Oh, his friend didn't get out. All right. That is... That is, obviously, that's game over for Airmore. Should we see the butcher's bill? Yeah, let's take a look. All right. So, Caleb lost... A decent number of these devas he summoned. I think these guys all got whacked by that massive uh, evocation spam in the back line. And then a lot of corpse constructs and a lot of spirehorn warriors, but nothing here yeah. that's not immediately all, replaceable. All things considered, it's really just the solar brilliance that you know, the right. blind on everyone. That's a lot of these guys could be blind. And I don't think that they've got no an easy way to fix this. I, I, think he's, I think he's very happy with how that... Well, oh, he's yeah. pretty happy with how it went. I think he's extremely happy with how this went. I don't think you could ask for much less when you're going on somebody's capital. And of course, when they have this much inside of it, yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, everybody gone here. I mean, there. So let's see. There's what five adventurous governor. I didn't know that's what Caesar was. That's called. what Caesar is. Yeah, that's eleven. <laughs> five of these black rows. Sixteen. Seventeen. Twenty-two. Thirty-four. 37. There's actually, I mean, there, there's a lot of mages here. It's 37 mages. And he summoned up a lot of stuff. But I think yeah, honestly, just... I think if he'd have had shock rares and mass flights, um, I think it was winnable. Yeah, I think I think I, or at I least have won that. At least it wouldn't look quite like this. Well, I think it, it's possible. Yeah, if if the um, if he if his chaff generation can can out. You know, produce the evocations that Caleb is doing, right? Um, Which is tough, it's, but it's possible. It's if if a, like a few lucky thunder strikes hits his, you know, a bunch of mages, right? Um, but I think I think that was I think that was doable. Yeah. So yeah, that's uh, game over for Airmore, and it looks like the rest of the fighting is uh, is elf related, plus a Marverni attack. Let's look at our our messages. All right. Banham, I've diploed and stabbed my way out of certain death. Uh, yep, because he was at one point being attacked by the birds and by the fish. Um, so he paid off the birds, stabbed the fish, uh, put the nap up with Hinnom, Um And it looks like he wants birds to die. He did. Um, yeah, so this is what I said, right? They're bordering a ton of thrones, which are still all claimable. Um... And he's, and meanwhile, Van Ham's like, I hope I can get enough gold to put up a palisade. Um, well, we've all got to have dreams. That's right. Um, 
okay so he he's tried to get a coalition started but it looks like people are not interested so who let's uh, let's finish this match I, and we'll take a look at I the map think real quick at this point with ermor falling um i think it's everyone has to drop their wars and, and fight Kalen. i think if, i think so too not sure how to proceed from here the game has been a strategic disaster <laughs> um Kind of means I didn't grow fast, but then a wake blast and bad scales make it worse. I just painted a target on my back because everyone accused me of throne rushing while I was fighting him. Okay. So let's take a step back here. Who can fight Kayla? Vanheim can. I think it's Vanheim, Marverni, TNN, and Marverny. Yomi. And Pelagia as well. Yeah. Yomi. I mean, everybody, everybody's got some border except Hinnom, basically. Yep. And that's only because there's that throne that Van Heim has. Right. And and realistically, if you're like, Hanon, we need you to fight K you know, we need you to fight Kale, and Hanon's probably like, well, looks like you've got a throne to give me. Uh, and I don't really think that Van Heim expects to be able to keep this throne all that well either. Although maybe, no, maybe if they've mapped out here, but he can't even like sail from his own territory to there, so No. Um yeah, I mean, Kalem's pretty big. Oops, not that one. Yeah, he's pretty, he's pretty huge, really. <laughs> he's he's, <laughs> he's twice the size of the next player. He's twice yeah. the well, income of the next we, player. Um, should we watch the, the other... Yeah, 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 let's, let's go through. And then we'll, let's, we'll, we'll discuss the messages Kalem too. a bit more, yeah. I'm uh, starting to feel like I'm taking way too long with TNN. Yes. It is. He's been, it feels like they've been fighting for a very long time. Um, he's been winning, Yomi's been winning a lot of small fights, right? But he lost the big one. And so he hasn't been able to sort of actually, like, siege anything down. If I had a Dala for every Melkart I killed, you'd think this was my first time playing Hinnom. I mean, you know, sometimes they die. It happens. Don't cry. Don't, yeah, it's gonna be okay. Alright, let's see if there's anything. I don't know why I clicked on it without checking if it was good or not. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a great one. Just living dangerously. Uh, <laughs> think that's actually that's, uh, quite that's quite expensive because there's the recruitment costs and the gems and yeah, that. put a lot it's now. Not super expensive, you know. Maybe she. Oh no, she's not getting away. No. Oh, but the militia escaped. The militia. Like, yeah. <laughs> he was like, "I'm out. I'm yeah. out here." Pass. Um. Okay. The Blackhawks coming out. All right, so TNN wins the first four battles, and then a Dione takes a one PD. So, oh, and then you know, you know, make sure nobody else gets the Mason. Well, you got to do what you got to do. Yes, he doesn't have like a nap with Marvoni, does he? Like, obviously, this isn't like an aggressive move, but you did technically attack his if, if he and... maybe just have them on attack because they didn't. They literally didn't kill anything. Yeah. I don't know. He was just throwing them away. Yes. Without even trying to do any damage. Okay. He rat he got rid of some some false prophets. What not yeah, he's got the commander in front. Pop. And there they go. Okay, so pretty quiet turn Aside in terms of troop from... battles apart from apart from a mold. Was yeah, at the center of things. Um, so and so Vanheim said he tried to get feelers out for a coalition, but didn't get a lot of takers. It, if he didn't get a lot of takers, that means right potentially Yomi and TNN are not willing to drop their war. Which I think they really should, because it's not, it's not been looking good for quite a, a long time between <laughs> these two in terms of too much attrition for too right. little gain on both sides. And, Right, I mean, like last turn, I think Yomi took a lot of provinces. This turn, TNN just took a lot of them back. Um, yeah, and I think TNN, you know, with taking that fort back from Ermor, um, they've got all those troops freed up. I think they're looking in probably probably near their best position they have this whole war. Yeah, I mean, that's finally a 1v1 again. Oh, yeah. well, not and, really. Uh, is fighting them. Well, yes. Uh, <laughs> but the, there is, you know, the, the, the tactical buffer... Demon Lord. Uh, his, that's that's his right. Dinners. Um, but yeah, I, I think I think it makes a lot of sense for those two to to stop what they're doing and work out a border and go fight Kalen. 
Do you think that's a winning move for them? So on the one hand, like... Well, is... I, th I think if they don't, <laughs> then they lose because I mean, Caelan wins that's... the game. So sure. I do, I do think it's a winning move. And I also don't think them fighting each other is proven to be a No, a I, I don't move. think fighting each other is proven to be very effective. But um, And as Yomi, with Death Scales especially, you really need to... Yeah, yeah Yomi's caps down to 22,000. You your, your, your late game gets pretty tough. Um, I think you need to go and fight another, find another... This is a tough border for Yomi to fight through and fighting the birds, though. There's a lot of mountains here. Like, well, I, 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 that that war is coming to him. He has a throne near Caelan. That war is coming to him. Agreed. Sooner rather than later, anyway. Um, That's fair. And I don't think it's going to get any easier. That is also fair. Yeah, I mean, he's got two thrones that uh, that Caelan wants. Yeah, he's kind of very high up Caelan's uh, target list. list. Yeah, if I, I think if you're Caelan, you're probably looking at Yomi here, right? Yeah, Unless you're gonna get you're gonna get those independent thrones, but you could you can probably leave them. You could probably fight Yomi and then take those because right, you could you do know, it they're last. not forty, and you can yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, I think you want I think you want to be taking all of it at once, and so I kind of think you want these to fall because you're gonna you're not gonna have time to like fight Yomi. Pop his two thrones and then like go back. Like you're gonna need an army to do it at about the same time, unless he's got a yeah, thug. Well, I don't know. He can he can maybe get a few thugs or yeah, or, that's... or something to kill them. Um, right. I, since we... they're independent thrones, you can agreed. Test you that can pretty easily. So figure that out. No, I, I agree. I I just think you need to be ready to take all of them at the same time. And yeah, so he, I think he basically needs to fight Yomi. Vanheim and the independents, and then he has enough, right? So he currently is sitting on... You can get on two more from Van, two more from Yomi, one... two independents, and he has one, and that's enough, right? Yeah, Van... Oh, he can Van... get three from Vanheim, actually, so... Yeah, Van's got a bunch. Technically, he could get four from Vanheim. I think, yeah, but I think... But this one's tough. If he's going to get the one with the Steel so Ovens, then... then uh, yeah. That's the coalition, kind of for them, anyway. It has to be, yeah, it has to be. Um... Yeah. Cause like he's yeah. so yeah he has axed. Well, how many do you need to win? Thirteen points. Uh, you need uh, seven thrones. Yeah. So he has essentially totally within his power just this one right now. There's two independents. So then he needs to come up with four more. Which is gonna. Yeah, he has enough land to win the game now. Yes, for sure. Um, so he doesn't really I, need to fight like, anyone you... anymore. Yeah. So you, if you take those two, you've got one, two three and then you potentially hit here 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 and you hit like both of these maybe yeah yeah having that one extra is really nice and then a lot of these are unforted you know all the independent ones and then the vanheim yeah vanheim hasn't been able to put a palisade up here uh or here yeah so i think he said he wanted to build one so i think he i think he's yeah he does but it depends how quickly kayla moves here yep and how Quickly, do you think he's going to move? Um, I don't think he's going to move before a palisade comes up, but... No. I, I think I would have liked to see this one fall earlier, but I guess maybe it just keeps getting easier. Like, this is a, a lot of luck that he could have been using all game. Yeah, that would have been really good for him, to be fair. Uh, um, but he's instead attack players, and I think it's worked really I well. I mean, attack players is great, too. I just... It feels like with a nation his size and his gem income, this shouldn't be like a significant obstacle unless he's and like, I don't think if you're other players, you're viewing him not having this as him like being farther away from winning. Well, like, I actually think they probably are, because um, if he did have both, you know, if he did have both those thrones, I think the coalition's a lot more likely. Um, yeah, well, I mean, that, it sort of depends I think how good the their information of war is. is probably obscuring a lot of what's going on. That's true. Um, and so depends how good scouting is possible. How much mm. people are talking to Pelagia, etc. Like, because Pelagia ought to know and be able to tell people. Yep, yep. Well, so that seems. Which throne is this? Throne of bureaucracy. Um, seems like Caleb could run away with this. Yeah, we'll see as well because his obviously his fast map movement. We'll see where that big army goes. They had on Amor. Yes. Um, because, like, um, you could, I mean, he could, uh, theoretically, Yomi and TNN are both weakened. He could, like, move right in. Yeah, um, I do think he should go straight into his, his next 
stage of his plan. You shouldn't try and sit back and get no, more he's powerful. He's already got a huge advantage. I don't. You don't need. I don't think you yeah. need to. to time. Build more. Time isn't on his side because eventually a coalition will happen. It'll right. become too too. Yeah. You know, right. He's now the highest more. researcher, although not by a huge amount, in, without counting Pelagia. Um, yeah, so he can. I mean, he had all those mages as well that were doing stuff. Oh yeah, so he could research he more can, if he needed to. You, could, but... you can see his um, his like gradient before. Yeah, um, I would. He, he could be. He could be a book larger quite soon. I think if he wanted to, but I don't think that's the play. I don't think he I think needs the to. to go in. To I go think you try and capitalize from... on the lack of unity in the rest of the world and just go win the yeah. game. So also, I think I think it's quite possible that if he fights Yomi, um, yeah, and he makes a deal with TNN, you know, you can have the cap, you can have a load of stuff. I'm just going to, you know, get the stuff near my border, which happens to be the throne. Which happens to be all the thrones. Yeah, then I think you know, with TNN's situation and how this game's gone, with those, you know, you find that or they've essentially for forced it. a coalition um, themselves. He might, you know, yeah, it does he might um, be wanted to kill him? Does Caleb have H threes that they can summon? Um, he has a recruit. the A three H threes. I think here multi heroes that he's we've seen a couple of those. Okay. So right, yeah. right. Yeah. So he's I think got, he has got enough claimers. Three, I think so, and they can also magic phase. How much? So he's got this big army here. What else has he got for troops? I think he had them in that army actually. So if we have a look, oh, probably did. Of what was in that army, we can. Is that um, this one? The High Seraphines, oh. I think it's, it's uh, Super High 3. High Seraphine, yes. Okay, you're right. Yeah. So, yeah, that's... He's got at least three, which is how 20. many he needs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess one... Well, what, that plus the profit is four. So he could claim uh, a lot of thrones all at once. Yeah, he's also got his gold, though. I don't know where... Uh, true. I don't know. Has he got a person? I don't remember. I don't... I don't actually... Is that on his cap? I don't even remember where his cap is. Where is uh, his cap? To the, to the, there it uh, is. Yeah. Uh, don't see it here. Are, are Regal Kings? What are they? Are they? Uh, they're not H three. They're not. Okay. They're H one or two. Uh, they feel like they should be the Eagle King. Like... They are the king. No, oh, here's his god. Is the Yazad King? Um, but. In any event, well, he can move, so he, he can, can claim move. that as well. So yeah, that's a, that's a lot of potential claimants. Yeah, he's not he's not uh, short though. Okay, all right. Let's. So what what can other people do? So like, I know well, Vanheim is doing the correct thing. Vanheim right. is not fighting any of the wars and wants to fight Caelan. And yes, everyone else also needs to fight Caelan. I think I think I think they need all five really. I think I think they want Marverni, Pelagia, Vanheim, Yomi, and TNN. Yeah, I think I think that's right. I don't I don't yep. think you're winning um, this if you aren't fighting them. Yeah, and and I think really it's it's going to be mainly Vanheim because Pelagia is a is Pelagia, um, yep. and so they and they also lost a load of stuff to to Vanheim. I don't think they're putting out a big army that's going to well, go. And, we don't see any know, units really. I mean, they've got. Look it up. They've got yeah. some. He's here. mainly going to raid some of Caelan's stuff, but he could maybe, you know, threaten locking down the cap for a bit. You know, that could be. Yeah, I mean, he's got the same army size as Vanheim, and Vanheim's army is mostly made up of vine hair, <laughs> and Pelagia's is not. Yeah, yeah, it's rough. So, and I think I mean, Marverni, yeah. I'd be a bit worried about it, like birds jumping on it. I think it might struggle with flyers. I can't believe Marverni's gotten away with this province. Um. This whole game, but it's yes, chilling. what'd you say? It's five. It's just, it's just chilling. There. It is. Yeah, he's just, he's just busy getting, getting three astro pearls and fifty three income. Which for is, nothing. which is actually, which is actually huge for Marvin. Yeah, Jeff and Cook. And I, this one also, I think, is is somewhat, somewhat exposed. But Marverni has got a lot of troops over here. We haven't. We've got some boars. But not this is certainly not the pig apocalypse you often see from Marverni. No, he does have the monolith, so monodrop is a thing. Yeah. Could be could be pretty dangerous. I mean we have so Marverni, right, they they sort of they won against Satis and they've they've since then sort of claimed a throne. I don't think we've seen them do too much else. Um 
You know, they're, they're up there in provinces. Their research is only okay. If I recall, their gem income is what was tragic. Yeah, it's, uh, it's becoming less tragic. It's becoming a lot less tragic. But also that's but, because Caleb is making all the gaps seem smaller. Yeah, and <laughs> his like total area under the curve is I mean, yeah, the lowest in the bad. game. Um, yes. So, I mean, like that, this is a tough start. Yeah, yeah, it's rough. So, um, I don't, you know... I think he's going to have a tough time. I don't, think in position. I don't think Marverni's really lifting too much weight against Kalen, but I, I still think it's extremely important that they join in. Right, I think they need um, to, but... Yeah, and somebody needs to, you know, if this coalition goes off, someone needs to keep a, an eye on Hinnom because they are the only free agent. <laughs> and it's, it's I, don't, I, don't see them, I don't see them not doing something about that. Uh, yes. I mean, they're still fighting. I mean, yeah, you know, if you're TNN, right, you're fighting Yomi, you're fighting Hinnom, and Vanheim's like, oh, by the way, you need to go fight Kate. Fight the biggest player. Uh, yeah, I can, yeah, I can, I can, like, I can understand why he's not doing it. Yeah. I can kind of see why <laughs> Yomi isn't doing it as well. Um, yeah, like, I think yeah, Pelagio should it. just, just kind of has to bite the bullet and do what they can. Yeah, I don't know how you know, They have got three fourths exposed, but... I, yeah, I, I still, mean, I still think they kind of have to do something. It's it's tough out there because the game game will win before the wish factory gets online. Yeah, so I say we're on turn forty four. I don't think we're. I don't know how exactly how far we are from wish, but I don't think we're there yet. No. Right. So Kalen was using what? What's the highest research we saw Kalen using there? Mm, yeah, more five. Wailing winds. Yeah, that's a six. Uh, didn't use any. So uh, no. So, so, so Pelagi, Pelagi is probably quite a long way off still from getting a nine. What do we see? Did um, so we saw Solar Brilliance? I'm trying to think if we saw anything else. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he hasn't researched up to seven. So we're busy complaining about mass flight that's just not there yet. Yeah, I'm not really sure what his research was. Yeah. Um, uh, maybe there's something else. We didn't watch his mages that closely. Maybe we missed some other casts. Let's just to try and figure out where people are at for research. Let's watch his mage core again here. See if we see anything else that's sort of telling. No, but you guys can't tell, but I'm squinting at the screen now. Fine arrow, animate dead. Strength of Gaia, resist cold. Yeah, I'm not seeing a lot here. Solar Brilliance. Flame Eruption, Magma Bolt, Stellar Decree. That's so many air elementals. <laughs> yeah, it's so many air elementals. I mean, he's got the gems for it. Why not? Yeah, it's, it's good against... Uh, good uh, against human mages. Um, okay. So it's hard. I guess it's hard for us to tell exactly where he's at, but I would expect Sevens to be online at this point. Agreed. Certainly one, if not more than one, from our research leaders. Okay. Well, we will see. I guess we'll see what yeah. the next the next plan is next turn from Kalen. Yes. So, what do you think Hannah want to do? Um. I mean, I think he's quite very like happy. How many false know, prophet attacks are there? Elves. <laughs> I think. Well, I think they probably built up while he was fighting everyone, and he didn't have the. Uh, the option that, to do anything about it. That definitely can happen. I remember in my Baratos game, I was being constantly attacked because I just never could get anybody over to actually clear the thing. I had like three different lands with False Prophets doing stuff. Yeah, it's probably satisfying uh, clearing them out after you... Yeah, after they've been causing problems the whole time. Yeah, I mean, I think he's going to keep fighting TNN, which is going to keep TNN out of the war. The lack of peace probably makes Yomi want to stay in the TNN war because TNN is still in a 2v1. What is going on here? He has a lot of flagellants. Why does he have so many flagellants? Um, Spanter, isn't it? Yeah. What'd you say? It must be an must be an event. It must be an event. <laughs> it's not. Um, you don't get. Do you get? Fla, you don't get flagellants out of that one astral spell, do you? Like soul imprint or whatever it's called. I uh, I don't. 
I don't size. know, but I don't think so. I don't. I don't think it's flagellants, is it? I, it may not be. I can't. Imprint souls. I don't think it's. Many people die, but it, it may give them religious zeal. But maybe it's not actually flagellants. Um. Okay, it seems like a strange. Well, I mean, it makes sacreds. It's, it's, it's okay with this, but I, yeah, it's. it's I guess. Yeah. I, I yeah I, I don't know. Uh, I'm I'm not. I, could no, be yeah, I know event, you but can this get is, them from. Uh, I know you can get them from. Events, you can't but, get them from uh, events, but it's this army it is mainly so. flagellants. Yep, yep, and a bunch of tengu. Yep. I like this position for TNN. TNN is definitely in, in the strongest place they've been for a while. I think. I think. So. I mean, yeah. When you go from fighting a three v one to a two v one. Well, in terms of their like actual army size, I think. And, yeah, that's probably and, you fair. Know, the number of forts let's, and let's stuff. Let's see how TNN is pretty... doing. It's TNN, yeah, they had a good turn this turn. They're still not at their high point for territory, but they're close to where they were at the start of the war, like a little down. Income, similar story. Gems, similar story. And army is a similar story. <laughs> So yeah, uh, they're just. Uh, I think they're just not making a lot of progress against each other here. And I don't TNN. Yeah. I don't see finishing off Yomi anytime soon, and I certainly don't see them finishing off Hinnom anytime soon. So I'm not no. sure how they're getting out of this. Well, they've been they've been pulling rabbits out of hats so far. I thought they were yeah. they were looking pretty bad when Omar joined in, and that army from <laughs> Yomi marched through Satis to come down. Yes. That, the other that, side. Was, that looked like a hairy. That's true. But, um, looked like he was yeah. going to be enveloped. They keep, they, keep, but... they keep putting out fires. Um, yeah. Yeah. But then more fires keep happening. Yes. That is certainly the case. This army fly here this turn? Probably. Yeah, I think, I think a good amount of it could at least, yeah. Uh, the, uh, the corpse constructs obviously couldn't, but... Yeah, why can't you just put wings on them and make them... Right? Icarids. Why don't I have flying course constructs? Corpse Icarids, that's what I want. <laughs> They've got Kalian corpses around. We should be able to sew those exactly. on. Yeah, that's, that's morbid. <laughs> that's, that's, how do you think they're making the corpse constructs to begin with? Uh, I don't think they use... I don't think Kalians use Kalians for that. I think they use... Kalians uh, like summoning Kalian make... long dead. But that's different. That's not, a, that's not like a patching them together. That's, you know, Bringing them back to a noble existence, surely. But mm, I'm not stitching sure. people together, stitching people together, I think is a different. Well, you're you know, stitching that's corpses what you, together. That's what you do to your enemies, right? You like, stitch the corpses together. Yeah, I, I, th I think that's something they've been doing to warm. <laughs> yeah, for a while. Okay, been, so yeah, I mean, Caleb kind of spiraling out of control. And uh, the current the current messages seem to indicate that <laughs> the Diplo is going to be hard to come by for a coalition. Yeah, which honestly I'm quite surprised about. Well, I was initially, but after talking it over, I'm I'm quite Less pessimistic surprised. about the chances of the coalition really kicking into gear. Yeah, and it is tough. Um, you have one player who's not who has no has very limited opportunity to be part of the coalition, which means they're just in a prime position to just stab everybody. Yeah. And a very high inclination to, yeah, I to attack the members of the coalition. <laughs> yeah, they're uh they're definitely willing willing and able. So oh we got a farm of plenty in his capital. Look at that. Oh that'll that'll cheer him up, I'm sure. <laughs> Doesn't even make any gems. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think, I think that's pretty much it for this turn. We'll see if, uh, the world can unite against the, the threat. This is where it's, uh, is, you know, Elrond, you, you will unite or you will fall. Yep. And I think, I think if you spread the propaganda that they're stitching even their own people together <laughs> into court contracts, I think that's really... How we uh, how we galvanize people to fight them? Yes, I think that, that Dominion's players are notoriously moved by atrocities. Well, atrocities to your enemies is one thing, but atrocities <laughs> to your own people—I don't think I don't think that's all right. I mean, it, 
people people think Hidom is evil because they eat their own people, you know? So I think I think Illwinter has literally stated he thinks that Hidom may be the most evil nation in the game. Yep, I think I think uh, the LA Relay gives a good bit of a run for the money. Is LA Relay evil? They're just I think different. So. <laughs> What's that accent? Well, an accent. It wasn't an accent. Like the, uh, <laughs> there was a, uh, uh, an was like Sponge, maybe. That Spongebob meme or something, isn't it? Evil. Oh, oh um, yes. Evil. It sounded like, that's what it sounded like. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. There's quite a few ones that probably are. I feel like Abyssia is. Sure. Abyssia is more evil. I, yeah, like, I just don't know if you count really as evil. They're kind of just... Like, all the Void Spawn are just different. They're operating on a different Well, I think level. the whole mind control thing, you know? I don't the think that's... Yeah, okay, the mind been... control thing's bad. You got me there. Yeah, yeah. That part's yeah. not great. Yeah. But... Okay, well, who do you think is the most evil nation in the <laughs> yeah, Disney Park? Let us know. <laughs> uh, all right. I hope everyone enjoyed that, uh, that Oval Battle. We wanted to see that for a long time. Yeah, we'll just... Yeah, we can... Uh... It's uh, that was a big one. Probably won't see another battle quite that size for a little while. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks it everybody. How many long dead Hidon can keep summoning? Maybe. Oh my god, yeah. How many does he have? He is, he is like the second largest army, I think. Yeah, all his, a lot of his giants are size six, aren't they? The, the long dead, so uh, the lo the... I think they're five. Oh, okay. It'd be well, weird for them that's... to grow after dying. That's still a lot. I don't would. That would be weird, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got me there. Um, want to see if there are any fun names in uh, the Hall of Fame. I think Kitsune the Massive Dione is, <laughs> is pretty funny, actually. Yes. Not quite how that's usually envisioned. Yeah. Um, where's, but the, anyway. where's the size? Where's the size six fox? <laughs> right. Are Diana size mean. six or size five? No, nah, that's size four. That's size four. Yeah. Makes so they're not no size sense six. to me. No, but I want. Yeah, but I want. If I if it was a giant fox, I'd want it to be size six. Oh, okay. I'm just talking about what I'm. I'm just what rambling. What you're looking for? Yeah. Yeah, size four. Oh, size four just confuses me. It just... Size four is often the worst size to be. I think. Yeah, yeah. The only thing it helps you with is repel. For the it does help with repel. It often helps your map move a little bit. Yeah. But. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, I think that's uh, going to be it for this I turn. I think we've entered onto enough tangents there. I think so. Uh, thank you for joining me. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks yep. for that more fight. Yep, and uh, thanks everybody for watching, and we hope to see you all in the next episode. Have a great day. See you.